To execute a route, select it from the routes list screen. This is the active route screen. At the top, you'll see the ratio of I alerts that have been checked to the total number of I alerts on the route. The progress bar just below this will also increment as each I alert is checked. Below the progress bar will be counters for each status of checked devices. This will track the number of OK, alarming, warning, and skip devices. Notice the timer on the top right of the screen. This is an easy way to track how long this route has been active. To see how long it took last time for comparison, press and hold previous. So you'll see the screen divided into two sections. The top will show all devices on the route that have not been in range yet or require a download action. The bottom part of the screen is where the devices will drop to after they have been checked. You can hide or show the checked devices. The colored icon on the left for each device will indicate its alarm status. Yellow indicates the device is currently in the warning state, and red means the device is in alarm. A green status icon shows the device is within the defined acceptable operating ranges. If the icon is empty, that device is currently not in range. If an iAlert comes in range and the colored status icon appears, but it does not drop to the check devices list, then an action is required. Depending on which route type you have selected and the current status of the iAlert, the actions will vary. On the right hand side, you will see which actions are required. Download the latest 30 or 60 day trends, request a new FFT, or download the FFTs that were created when the device was in alarm. To trigger the action, just tap, tap the device in question. The app will then begin to gather all the relevant data and a progress bar will keep you posted on the approximate time remaining. If you would like to skip one for any reason, swipe left on that device and tap skip. It will drop to the checklist and show the skipped icon. If a device is skipped accidentally or you change your mind, you can swipe left and unskip it. When all the devices have been checked, you'll see a message indicating so, and the report will automatically be generated and emailed to the recipient list. The smart device must have a network connection to do this. If there is no connection, you'll receive a message letting you know. You can always swipe left on a route from the route list and select report to regenerate it.